Hey, this is Better Mix. Welcome to Mix Training, and today we're gonna see how to make some particles follow a curve. All right, so we have our friend Roberto here. Roberto, it's made of particles today. Cool. So this is the effect we're gonna do. So Roberto, it's uh, there, just hanging out, and suddenly. Boom. That looks pretty damn cool. All that happens and then gets dropped into a bowl. <laughs> pretty cool. Alright, so what's happening is that I have this path here and Roberto is following the, that path. So I'm just making the particles follow any path I want them to follow. Right? All right, so how are we going to do this? So let's just uh, review here. See, I have a path. So I just created a path. It's just a simple curve, right? Then I just transform that to make it uh, be here in front of Roberto. Simple curve. Then I've just make, made a ball. That's not important. It's just the ending part. The, the uh, fun part, uh, it's inside here in the uh, Roberto node. So I have just Roberto there. So I just deleted uh, the uh, material attribute because that that's not uh, we can get color from that so then I apply it back as a map so we have that in the color so when we scatter the uh, the points the points inherit that color there all right so then the fun part uh, the fun part it starts here in this pop net so what I did here in this pop net it's let me just create it from scratch let's create another pop net pop network here connect that one inside here I have uh, those particles there. In the source, I'm gonna uh, change this to all points. So we emit uh, all points every frame. And in this in this setup right now, you can see that we have uh, like a million points already at frame. The first frame is uh, 100, 100,000 points, which is the amount of points I'm scattering here. Let me just reduce this for the uh, testing this while we build this. So we have that amount here. So we don't want to emit more particles than that. So let's go to the birth tab and just put this dollar FF uh, less than two, which means only emit particles if the current frame is uh, less than two, which is just gonna emit particles at the first frame. So you can see if I run that, we are gonna have that same uh, amount of points because after this is at frame, after frame, one is just turned off all right so that's the first part right so now we need some velocity on these particles and that's going to be done by the pop uh pop curve force here which is pretty cool force here so let's just select the path of our curve here so now we have this path here in uh, in dots and you can see it's represented by that coiling uh on top of the curve and see if we press play already this is just working this is already giving us what we want you can see this is a ghost roberto here this is just the source here so if you don't want to see it just turn off this guide it's just the the source for the particle so you can see roberto is already working and going along the curve so but it's pretty slow right now so we can just go to the pop curve Let's say, let's go up to 12 in all these axes. So it's just gonna be the force along the curve. The suction uh, scale is the force from the uh, uh, from the edges of the uh, curve of the force here to towards the inside. And then the orbit scale is what makes it go around, like, a, like twirling around the, the tunnel here. You can see now it's going pretty damn fast. And that's what I want with it because I wanted to get out here. Yay, Roberto particles. You can see it's going pretty fast, but if we add some gravity to this, you might not want gravity inside here, but uh, you can test whatever you need for your effect. Let's see if we add gravity, this is looking much better. Cool. All right. If uh, we want to add some noise on top of this, we can. We can also 
And before we do that, we can also just change a lot of parameters of this force. You will, you, uh, you will, uh, you will need to get into this and and control of these parameters. There's a lot of cool parameters here, like curves for every force. Uh, one that is pretty cool is the scale along the uh, shaping here, which you can see. You can shape the curve however we want. I can say maybe make it a little bit less uh, fat there. That's the tube now. And that's going to affect the particles uh, as well. You can see the particles are going along the path really cool and they fall really nice. Uh, so, yeah, you can just go and, and of course, add a lot more tweak a lot more of these parameters for now, which is gonna go for this. But yeah, you can you can set the velocity and the scale of these forces here with these curves for each of these uh, particles. Even if you have velocity on your curve, you can inherit that velocity here with this parameter or just turn it off, which is pretty cool. For now, we're just gonna go for this and I'm gonna let you play with the rest of the parameters because playing is pretty cool. All right, so now we have this uh, Roberto, and if we see here, you can see it's kind of really a little bit boring because it's pretty solid like a tube. If you want this effect, well, there you go. But if you want to add more noise on top of this, you can. Let's just add a pop force. And let's uh, turn the amplitude like about 20 maybe, and the swirl size to 2. Uh, let's see what we get with that. Now you can see this is starting to break up a little bit more. You can see there's less uniformity here. And you can just do uh, your, just, just tweak your settings to your liking here. I uh, actually like to turn the particles way up because it looks pretty cool. So let's give it a lot more particles. 100,000, it's a good number. And you can see those particles are looking pretty good there. They look pretty nice. I think they're actually not enough. Let's put some more. Let's put a million particles there. Actually, uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> a million particles of Roberto are going along this tube. The other thing you can do is maybe instead of uh, putting more particles here, let's just say same hundred thousand we had and then instead of uh, emitting just the first frame here let's emit for the first maybe five frames and that's gonna give us like a really different trail now you can see some of of the um of roberto it's falling here because it's not actually being grabbed by that curve so we can just uh move the curve a little bit or maybe just uh change the shape at the very start here in the global forces maybe no in the oh man in the shaping the shaping maybe we can make this a little bit larger just to grab roberto 1.2 there we go or you can just move the curve a little bit behind and that will just grab that area there there we go you can see that's looking pretty damn cool and we are emitting more particles and it's, it's looking like Roberto it's it's getting dragged along there. Also, since we are dealing with very fast uh, particles here, of course, uh, go to the solver and put the the minimum sub step sub list to 3 to get even better uh looking uh, forces here you can see this is looking pretty damn cool of course it's gonna be a little bit slower but it's gonna really look way better all right so i cached the particles to this just to show you guys what we did here and this is the result so roberto's there just happy like always and then some strange force starts pulling me in forward oh no and it just goes like that and you can see we're getting really nice looking uh, effects here this could be used for magic effects 
really cool stuff you can use this for whatever you want just to uh, make some really nice looking effects here cool then it goes out and it's just a mess there cool all right guys this is it this is a really cool effect and it's a really nice way to control your particles to do exactly what you want all right that's it guys from me and roberto please subscribe if you haven't share the video with your peers and let's keep learning together see you guys in the next one cheers